Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to learn how to rotate our camera around, so we're going to finish the first person camera script. We're also going to clamp some angles, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so let's start by fixing the issue we had, where the camera was inside of the character and we couldn't see because of the tune shader. First thing we'll do is we'll go and open the first person camera script. I'm actually going to close this off, make sure everything works fine, okay. Reopen this, and then we are going to change a little bit the uh, the process motion, because if you remember correctly, this is exactly the position that we're going to get for a camera, so we need to put an offset on this. To do that, I'll go ahead and declare myself a private float offset that I'll put at 1 for now. Now I'd like my offset to be just above my cube, so to do that, I'll just say transform that position plus now I'll open parentheses so transform dot up times offset just like this and this should already be working and yeah it is so the camera is now on top of my player or if it is like if we were doing a real FPS this would be the head of the player and uh, yeah so we got this covered now what we need to do is actually give the player the ability to rotate around and look left, look right. To do that, it is of course in the process rotation function, but before we tackle this one we need to declare ourselves some fields. And they're going to be a private float, current x, so we're going to keep track of the rotation we currently have, so current x, current y, and also private float, sensitivity, x, that is of course going to be some kind of speed modifier, sensitivity Y and you should split these two because these two are not going well together you don't want to be using the same sensitivity for the vertical and horizontal axis so now that we got these we can start coding some stuff in there so I'll go in the process rotation write current X plus equal input dot X times sensitivity X if you remember correctly, the input that we get is um, is supposed to be based on the secondary axis that we'll do a little bit later on. But for now, the player and the camera are going to share the same controls. But just for now, we'll, we'll fix that in a moment. Um, current Y is plus equal input dot Z times sensitivity Y. And then, then this, this is pretty much it. Let's go in game and see what it gives us. And so I take my camera, we get no response, why is that? Uh, let's just go check it out in game. Uh, first person camera script, the script is there, yes. Oh yeah, of course, we, we still return the transform that rotation, so that's that's not going to cut it. What we need to do here is say return quaternion.euler, and then we create ourselves our own vector3. Um, and what we'll do here, we'll say current y first, then current x, and then 0. The order is important in there. And as you can see now, we have something that makes a little bit more sense. So when I press right, it goes right, and left, it goes left. Okay. So, now let's try with the vertical axis. Up down and of course we have we have a big issue here where the camera does a full 360 on itself and we don't necessarily want this because this is gonna give us some awful result so we need to be able to clamp only the y-axis we don't want to be clamping the x-axis because this this behavior here is normal we should be able to do 360s in our game but not on the y-axis so let's go ahead and clamp this out to do that We'll first we'll declare some fields up there, and these ones are going to be const. So private const float y angle minimum, and I'll just set that at minus 75 for now. And also private const float y angle maximum, and I put these in full caps because they are constant and they're never going to change. So minus 75 and 75, the max is um, 
is where the ground goes and the minimum is where the sky goes. So let's say I didn't want my player to be able to look down too much, I would reduce this to say 50. And I'm, sure I'm going to reduce this to 50. And okay, now we got these, I'd like to clamp my angle right about here, so clamp my current Y. But now, this is something we'll be doing in more than just one uh, state, so I'm going to go ahead and encode it in the base camera state. So select your base camera state, press F12, you're going to open the other script, and in there, below everything, I'll go ahead and declare myself a protected float clamp angle, and it's going to take in parameter the angle, the minimum, and also the maximum. In here, I will do a do while function. So do while, and yeah, okay. So in there, I'll say if angle is smaller than minus 360, don't mess this up because if you mess this up, it's going to create infinite loop and your Unity is going to crash. And then angle is bigger than 360, then we do a angle minus equal 360. And uh, that, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if it's below minus 360, we just do plus 360 and vice versa. And we do that while angle is smaller than 360 or angle is bigger than 360. Now our angle should be back in the normal range as far as the uh, float goes for that. And we'll simply do a clamp. So return mathf.clamp. And we clamp the angle, we give the minimum and the maximum here. Close this off. Let's go apply this in our first person camera script. And we'll simply do current y is equal to clamp angle. We give the current y again, so current y, then the minimum, so y angle minimum, and the maximum, y angle maximum. Close this off. Let's go check it out in game. Okay, so we got the typical behavior, we can go from left to right. And now what about the vertical axis? Oh, as you can see, I am clamped now. I cannot go below that. And I can't go above this, so... The behavior is pretty much working as intended. Great, so we got pretty much everything covered in this. Okay, so if you have any question or comment, use the comment section below. If this was helpful to you, please leave it a like and also subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.